what's good everybody it's your boy will in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys the 90 steel hall of fame interceptor glitch for six foot nine my players in nba 2k22 next gen now as you guys can see 2.05 meters on the metric system is about 68.7 so you're just a little bit under 69 and also if you look on the right as you can see right now you have an 82 steel so this is normally the cap for a player this height you can only get up to an 82 and you need a 90 to get to hall of fame interceptor so this glitch is going to allow us to get to that and this is the build that everyone is running right now in pro-am when they're playing power forward in the corner and to me this is also going to be the best build that you can make for stage or for park if you're going to be playing center because you're going to be very fast and you're also going to have a crazy steal so i'm going to show you guys exactly how to do this all right the first step you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to features you're going to go to settings and we're going to scroll down we're going to make sure that our units of measurement are on imperial system to start out you need to be on imperial system or this will not work now we're gonna go ahead and make a brand new build and what we're gonna want to do to make sure that this works is we're gonna make the position a shooting guard this is the only way to do this it doesn't work with any other position I've tried it now obviously the hand and jersey number don't matter now for height we're gonna go down to six foot three for right now we're gonna go ahead and max out the weight we're gonna max out the wingspan and the body shape really doesn't matter we can make it built though now all we're gonna be doing is we're just gonna randomly fill out all these stats this doesn't matter this isn't the player that we're gonna be finalizing we're just doing this to make the glitch work so I went ahead and filled out all the stats this doesn't matter takeovers don't matter you're gonna be remaking the player so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna test out this player and once you test them out, it's going to save the build. So you're going to be able to go back in and edit it. And that's exactly what we want. Again, the badges don't matter. All right. So now that we're in the builder, we can either close app or we can just quit out. doesn't matter. I'm going to go ahead and close that because it's probably faster. So we're going to settings, back down to units of measurement. We're going to the metric system now. Now we're going to that same exact build we just made. Let me scroll all the way to the right. And here it is. As you can see, 1.91 meters, that is the 6.3. Now, once we edit this build that we just made, we're not gonna change any of this. We can change the hand of the jersey number, that doesn't matter, but we're not gonna change the position. We need to keep it at shooting guard. We're gonna hit continue. Now, we're gonna up the height to 2.05 meters. So we're gonna click X to reset. Now we're gonna scroll all the way up to 2.05 meters. Now we're gonna max out the wingspan, and as you can see on the right, now this player has a 90 steal. Before, it could only go up to an 82. There was no way to make it higher. But utilizing this glitch, as you can see, it is now, in fact, a 90. So, there's been multiple videos on YouTube showing how to do this, but I figured that I was gonna show you guys not only how to do it, but also a good starting point for making a couple builds using this. So I'm going to show you a power forward build that people would most likely be running in Pro-Am. And then I'm also going to show you a center build that is only going to be used for stage or for park because it's going to be too short at 6'9 for Pro-Am. So first thing I'm going to say is if you're playing power forward with this on Pro-Am, you definitely want to lower the weight to right here at 88 kilograms just so you have more speed this build is definitely a whole lot better with the speed if you're playing corner and pro-am or you're guarding pick and roll obviously it's not a center build but if you're guarding pick and roll or playing corner you want to be as fast as possible so if you're power forward you definitely want to go 88 kilograms going lowest you don't gain any more speed and you lose that on interior so i would recommend you go right at 88 all right guys so this is something that i would make if i was gonna play power forward this is a really good base to start out with it also really comes down to your play style a lot of power forwards right now are guarding pick and roll and pro-am so you definitely want to be as fast as possible and you also want to have maxed out defense the finishing is really up to you 
Right now I have a 75 close shot, 70 driving layup, and an 84 driving dunk. But again, it's really up to your play style here. The 84 driving dunk is going to allow us to get contact dunks. And having a 6'9", rushing you out the corner, trying to contact dunk you is pretty scary. So if that's something you like doing, definitely go with the 84 driving dunk. You could also up it to a 92 to get even better contact dunks, but I feel like the 84 is plenty. And the driving layup, I put this to a 70 just so you could get long athlete layup. And then the close shot, this is your standing layup. This is honestly a very important stat, but if you're playing Pro-Am, you're really not gonna be in the paint too often going up with standing layup. So I feel like definitely have at least a 70 to 75. You can up this more though, if you're someone that is really cutting to the basket a lot. Now, you definitely wanna max out your three-pointer. If you're somebody that's gonna be taking a lot of middies, I would up your mid-range as well. You can lower your dunk or you can lower your playmaking to get that up. But I personally feel as if though a 62 mid range is plenty in this game, you can still hit with that. And then again, we obviously need a little bit of free throw if this is gonna be a pro-am power forward build. Now for the playmaking, you really don't need an 85 pass accuracy if you're gonna be on power forward. You can honestly lower this down to a 70 just so you get that silver bullet passer. Or you could up it to a 71 so you get that gold break starter because you are going to be throwing the break once in a while. But if you really want to get that gold bullet pass, you can't go to the 85. Again, that's really up to you. We can lower this down and put in the points to mid-range. And you can get that up to a 75, which is way, way better. Again, it's up to you. This is something that you guys are just going to have to, you know, decide what you want. Silver bull on power four really isn't bad, so we could go with this right here. Now for the ball handling, I went with the 75. You're gonna be able to get decent dribble moves with a 75. You don't really need an 80 in this game like you did uh, last year. So 75 is plenty for the dribbling and then spew a ball, 74. You can lower this a little bit too if you wanted to, but I leave it at 74 for now. Now, obviously, if you're playing power forward, your main focus is going to be defense. So we're gonna go ahead and max out the interior, max out the perimeter, max out the steel, the block. Now, right here, as you can see, I have a 91 defensive rebound. Again, it's up to you guys what you want to do with this build. I'm just giving you a quick base, but if you want to up this defensive rebound even more, you definitely can. You can max it out, honestly. You can lower the free throw. Again, you could lower the dunk if you wanted to. This is really only if you're dunking with the right stick. That's the only way you're going to get contacts in this game like that. So if you can't really do that, you're not very good at it, I would just put the points at the rebound and max it out. And then obviously the physicals, you're gonna wanna max all of these out as much as you can. Stamina on power forward, you can, you can get away with an 80, so you could do that as well. But again, this is your build, so you wanna make it the way that you're gonna make it and make it to benefit your play style. Now for the takeovers, again, this is really up to you. I would probably recommend you to put on a lock takeover. It really depends on how you play. So you can put on a lock takeover. You can even put on something like rebounding. Now, if you go back out and you do max the ball handle up to a 85 on this build, you're gonna be able to get playmaking takeovers. So a lot of people utilize those because they're pretty broken in this game. Again, it's really preference. It's really how you like to play. Now I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys some of the badges that I would run if I was playing power forward in this build. So for finishing, you definitely want to max out your slithery finisher, your posterizer. You definitely want to put one of those takeoff at least on bronze or silver with an 84 dunk. You could put on something like a Lob City finisher. You definitely want Grace Under Pressure. That's a very good badge in this game. And then everything else is really up to you. Mouse in the house isn't bad. It really depends on if the point guard or someone sh shorter is guarding you in the corner, then you're gonna be able to abuse this badge. Now for shooting, out the corner, you definitely want at least bronze corner specialist. You can't up it to silver, but the boost really isn't that big of a deal. You're definitely going to want green machine, at least bronze. You want catch and shoot maxed out. You can put on something like dead eye, you definitely would want Sniper, it's very broken in this game. You definitely want Hot Zone Hunter. And the rest of the points are really up to you. Now for playmaking, you definitely want Bailout. You definitely want Unpluckable because you do have a 75 ball handle if you make it the same way that I did. You definitely want Glue Hands. You want Break Starter, 
quick first step bullet passer I would say put on needle threader you could even put on dimer and the rest again is really up to you you can put on something like downhill post playmaker for when you get offensive rebounds it really depends on your play style again now for defense obviously this is the power forward version of this build with a glitch so you're gonna want Hall of Fame Intimidator you're gonna want some people do use ankle braces I haven't personally used it you can put that on you definitely want chase down you definitely want hustler at least bronze menace doesn't work pickpockets okay you can put that on you definitely want rebound chaser you can have worm on it doesn't really work that well in gold but you can still put it on for box i would put on hall of fame and then i would put on clamps now i'd probably take off worm for this bill just because you're not really going to be worming people like that we could do something like this you definitely want that hall of fame interceptor that was the whole point of this so again it really depends on your play style here you can take off ankle braces you could up your rim protector that right there is pretty decent all right guys now if you're going to be trying to make a center with this glitch you have two options you can either max out the weight so you can get hall of fame rebounding or you can lower the weight back down like you did for that power forward build i just showed you right to 88 kilograms and that is going to give you the most speed you can get at 79 and 79 speed on a 6'9 player is absolutely ridiculous your player is going to be moving so fast so it really comes down to what you guys want if you want that hall of fame rebounding because you're on center you could do that i probably would stick with the gold and just be as fast as possible because this is really only a build that you're going to be able to use on park and stage for playing center with you can't go in pro-am and use this because everybody's seven three now so i'm going to leave it at 88 kilograms but again like i said if you guys want to get the hall of fame rebounding you can definitely do that it'll definitely be an extremely dominant build in park and stage even with the hall of fame but personally i like to be fast so we're going to keep that now if i'm playing center you definitely are going to want a way higher close shot than you just had on that other build and you're also going to definitely want a standing dunk i would say at least get 85 close shot and 95 standing dunk but again you can up these more if you see it fit a 90 is plenty honestly an 85 is good enough as well now for the standing dunk again you're going to want that to a 95 driving dunk I would say get it to at least a 75 and if you want to get the contact dunks go up to 84 now since this is going to be the parker stage build you definitely don't really need mid-range at all and you definitely want your three-pointer maxed out and assuming that you're never really going to be playing pro-am or anything that needs free throw we're going to leave this down because again this is mainly for park 3v3 now personally on center builds i really don't ever touch the playmaking but because you are shorter you're able to get a 75 ball handle which is going to give you decent moves like the Kawhi behind the back which is very quick so this is up to you if you're someone that likes to dribble and park and stage you can up this i'm going to leave it down for right now the second now again you're going to want to max out all of your defense this build is specifically designed to play crazy defense and we're going to max out the rebounding on this to a 95 and again you're gonna have that 90 steal i promise you guys you don't even have to press square with this build which is so broken you can literally just stand there and put down your controller and your player is going to steal passes himself which honestly is a problem and they're probably going to patch this very soon so if you're watching this video i would go ahead and at least make one of these builds so you have it in your builder just in case they patch it so you're going to be able to make it whenever you want in the future and you're going to mount a max out your vertical and then stamina i would go to probably a 90 if you're playing center so right now we're at a 93 overall so what we do next is really up to you we could put up the ball handle you're definitely going to want to put up the pass to at least a 70 again probably go to an 85 it's up to you though and if you're someone that really wants to dribble we can take down the close shot to an 80, but again, if you're playing center, you're gonna be going up in the paint. You want this as high as possible. I really wouldn't touch it. You could lower the standing dunk if you wanted to, but you're gonna lose out on that Hall of Fame rise up. So again, this is really up to you. 
personally, I would probably up the driving layup like that. And then the rest of the points, wherever you really see it, you can put it. I would probably do that right there. Get up to a 90 close shot just so you're a better finisher on the inside of the paint. And then we have a little bit of points left over, so we can do go ahead and put one into free throw. But this is something I would start out with. If you're going to make the center that has gold rebounding, I would go with something like this. You really don't need the ball handle unless you're somebody that is really trying to dribble. Then you can lower your rebounding. You can lower some of your finishing. But this build right here is insane. So you're going to have almost 80 speed with a 90 steal and your 6'9". Not only that, you have a 77 three-pointer so you can shoot. And not only that, you get contact dunks. And you can finish inside with a 90 close shot. This build is very, very broken. Again, the only thing you could really change with it is if you want to dribble, then you can put your dribbling up. But right here, if I'm going to play 3v3, this is the perfect build for it. You got the speed, you got the defense. It has a little bit of everything. So we're going to go ahead and stick with this. Now, if you're playing center, I would recommend you to put on probably one of these glass takeovers as either primary or secondary. And then with your other badge, you could either do something like extreme clamps on defense, or you could even just go rim protector. When I'm playing center, I personally go with this right here, stuff blocks or paint intimidation. But again, it's really up to you what you want to go with. And now I'm going to show you guys the badges that I would put on this player if I was playing park or playing stage. So we're going to test the build. Now for finishing, you're going to want to put on probably bronze put back, gold posterizer, whole thing rise up, at least a bronze or silver. Limitless takeoff just because you are getting good dunk animations with that 84 driving dunk as well as contacts. I personally use Fast Switch Hall of Fame, Grace Under Pressure Gold, and then you have some points left over. I'd probably go with Gold Solar Finisher. So this guy is going to be a straight slasher. I'm not going to lie to you. Now for shooting. Again, we're going to be playing center with this mostly. So we got to think about we're not really going to be shooting in the corner unless you're spotting up in the corner. So I'm personally going to treat this as if I'm playing pick and roll and I'm just popping off screens. So we're going to go with bronze green machine for right now. We're going to want that silver hot zone hunter. Definitely the gold sniper. Definitely catch and shoot. And then really the rest of the points are up to you. Again, if you're in the corner, you can go ahead and put on corner specialist bronze or silver there's not much of a difference there you could put on something like clutch shooter if you're playing park besides that the rest of these don't really matter i would definitely put on slippery off ball just to help your slips a little bit when you drive into the paint and when you set up when you're setting a screen you slip in but again we're gonna go ahead and just put these on for now now for playmaking you definitely want bronze bailout at least I would say go with gold or Hall of Fame break starter. It depends how you guys are playing in park. If you're throwing the break a lot, I would go with Hall of Fame. And then you're going to want that gold bullet passer because you do get an 85 passing on this character. Now, some other things you could put on. You could lower this and then you could throw on dimer and post playmaker. But to be honest, shooting this game is super easy. So you really don't need the boost for your teammates. And now for defense. Gonna go ahead and put on brick wall. Now, if you did max out your weight to get Hall of Fame rebounding on this, you're gonna get silver brick wall, which is a little bit better than bronze. And honestly, silver to gold, there's barely any difference. So if you do wanna up the weight, like I said, you're gonna be able to get silver brick wall. You're gonna be able to set better screens. Now, I'll put on Hall of Fame Intimidator. I would put on Rebound Chaser, Worm, on Hustler, Chase Down, Hall of Fame Box for sure, Clamps, Interceptor, and then I would go to college to get the rest of the defensive badges that you would get, as well as the ones for your levels, and I would go ahead and put on a Rim Protector and Pogo Stick. 
So that's a quick tutorial on this glitch. Again, this is gonna allow you to get eight more steel than you're supposed to. Without doing that metric system thing, you're only gonna be able to get to an two. And this is the player right here. I'm just real quick trolling, dribbling, dead and blocker. But I wanna thank you guys for watching the video. As always, man, I hope I helped you out. Hope you have a great holiday season and thank you so much for watching. It's been your boy Will, man. Go ahead and shoot this heavy. Peace.